Hi booktube, it's Gina and today I wanted to hop on and do a what is cheering me up this month video. I really like to take an opportunity as often as possible, but I think at least once, once a month to make a video just talking about the things that are cheering me up, the things that are making me happy, the good things in life. There's so many bad things that are happening and Yes, I acknowledge those, but I want to focus sometimes on on the good things and the things that are making me happy in my day-to-day -day life. So the first thing I want to mention is that today is my two-month booktube anniversary. Yay! I have had such a fantastic time over the last two months engaging with everyone and making videos and just getting to know people. It's just been wonderful. So that is the most important and funnest thing that I wanted to talk about today because it's just been an absolute blast. Um, the second thing that is making me happy and cheering me up this month is some snail mail that I got. A fun little card in the mail from a dear dear friend from high school um, who does not live close to me anymore, but who uh, who we I keep in touch with. And this just says, if you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. And I just love that. I think it is a delightful quote and a sweet card. And isn't it just fun when you actually get mail? Everything is so electronic these days that I think getting, getting a little snail mail is just always cheers me up a little bit. The next big thing that is making me so happy is I got my second COVID vaccine this weekend. So that was on Saturday morning. I specifically tried to schedule it for, um, for early Saturday so that I would have some time over the weekend to recuperate in case I had any symptoms. I, everybody I know has just had a terrible time of it after that second dose. And so I went to the store, I got myself some snacks and some like easy food, just thinking that I was gonna be knocked out after that second dose. And I didn't have any problems. I didn't have any, any bad side effects. Um, but I had a whole kitchen full of fun snacks. So the next fun thing I did was uh, just lay around the house um, on Sunday and watch Freaks and Geeks on Hulu, which was so much fun. Just marathoned through that show, ate some snacks, and just lounge around on the couch. I figured I was gonna enjoy my, my, my COVID vaccine sick time even though I was feeling great. Um, so that was super exciting. I'm very excited now that pretty much everyone in my, in my immediate family and circle of friends has gotten vaccinated. So our weather is turning nice and spring is starting to get here. And I spend a lot of time on my on my deck um, outside. It's big and it's got a lot of space on it. And so I brought out my deck furniture and last weekend my sisters came over for a little um, still socially distanced and masked up um, visit because we're, we're not all, I, I still, I just had my, my shot on Saturday. So um, so we're still in that window. Um, but I am really getting excited about the summer deck season. So I, um, I pulled out my deck furniture and I'm starting to think about some deck parties or, you know, small by, by party. I mean like three people over for dinner, <laughs> um, or something like that. So um, that has just been absolutely fantastic. Um, the next thing I'm having, really having fun with, is starting to think about my reading month for May. So something on BookTube that has really, I think, started to change my reading, and I don't think it's gonna change it in a way that I ever like fully embrace a complete TBR because I'm not a TBR type of reader, I don't think, but 
who knows in a year where I will be. Um, but I am doing some May prepping for some things that I do want to read because I've got three events that in May that it's just sounded like so much fun to me, so I wanted to participate. Uh, the first one being the booktube spin, which I talked about in my last video, where you pick a list of 20 books, um, Rick McDonald spins a wheel, and whatever number the book la the wheel lands on, you read the corresponding book. And so I've got my list of 20 books, so that is going to be one of the things that I read in May. And then the other thing that I'm going to read in May is... A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. This is an old copy that I've had laying around forever that I still have not read. And Kate Howe is doing a read-along um, on Voxer of this book. And so I'm gonna read along with that group. And so this is another May book that I want to read. And then the last, May book is, and I'll talk about all of these in my, in my, um, maybe I'll do a May video. I'm not sure yet. Um, this is another Kate Howe inspired book. This is Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson. Um, Kate and a, a few other booktubers just did a, a book battle for, um, World Book Day, and it was Janelle at Too Fond of Books, and Kate, and Christy Lewis at Dostoevsky in Space, and Blatantly Bookish, and there was another person, and I don't remember, I'm, I'll, I'll put the list below, um, but they did a, a read-off where each of the presenters read for 10 minutes out of their selected book, and then we all voted on which book we wanted to read, and this was the book that won. So I plan to read this for May. So this is just a fun thing because I don't usually plan out my reading. I usually just grab whatever I, whatever I want, and, and I just, read. Um, so I'm having some fun plotting out what my next read is going to be. And then lastly, um, I do want to call out one of the, the really enjoyable reads that I completed in April, and that was uh, Arabella by Georgette Heyer. This is a Regency romance, and you know that one of my goals for April reading was to read outside my comfort zone. And I don't usually read romances. So um, I had read a romance last month that was written, it was a Regency romance, but it was written by a contemporary author. And it's a, it was so melodramatic and it really just did not speak to me. I understood where it was going and it was fine. I didn't hate it, uh, but I didn't love it. But this I absolutely loved. Um, so I think, you know, if you want to try romance but you don't know where to start, this is a great place. The characters are charming and engaging. They're, you really clearly know what's going to happen fairly early on in the book. It's a, it's a Regency romance and it doesn't disappoint in the will they or won't they realm. They, they definitely do at the end. Um, However, it was it was written in just such a a beautiful way, very Jane Austen esque. So it felt like a really simple, straightforward Jane Austen novel, almost um, not as complex. Character building was not as deep. There were not as many threads. There was really one main thread with a, a brother thread that sort of veered off a little bit, but and a pretty straightforward. Um, story, very short, quick to read, um, but the, the repartee between the, the two characters was just so sweet and charming. It made me smile really throughout the whole book. Um, the main character, Ella, Arabella, was, was very funny and a little rebellious and got herself into a little bit of a pickle um, for that, but 
just a delight. So I would definitely recommend this book. I really enjoyed it. And I'm so glad that I picked this one up. I've had it on my shelf for a long, long time. I, I love these little, these little old paperbacks. So, um, so this was, was one of my favorite reads in a April, yes, April, um, that I really enjoyed. So um, just a, a, a very deep felt thank you to everybody who has joined me on this two month adventure so far. Thank you for commenting and watching my videos. I've been having such a blast and I'm just honored to be here and to share a little bit of, of your, your day with you. Thank you, bye.